Welcome again to another new video. Our video today is about uh, damage associated molecular pattern and trained immunity. And before we start, I want to remind you again to uh, subscribe to the channel and activating the alarming bell if you are interested in getting any uh, new video. The information I am talking about uh, in this video is mainly coming from this nice paper that was published 2021 in Frontiers in Immunology and uh, its title is uh, DAMPS and uh, Innate Immune Training. Uh, DAMPS is abbreviation of uh, uh, Damage Associated Molecular Patterns. Uh, as we used to know or understand that uh, innate immunity is non-specific and rapid and has no no memory uh, while adaptive immunity is uh, highly specific and needs some time to appear and has a, a long-term memory from the previous concepts or traditional concepts about innate immunity that uh, that is uh, characterized by no memory uh, we, it was assumed that the monocyte and macrophages which uh, constitute uh, the cellular components of the innate immunity uh, that they uh, would react in a similar and repetitive way to inflammatory stimuli. However, in the last 15 years, uh, uh, there was an increasing amount of evidence uh, that the innate immune system has features of a memory. And it was found that the innate immune memory uh, uses a different uh, mechanism from the adaptive immune uh, memory. Uh, so in innate immune memory, uh, the mechanism is mainly on uh, depending on epigenetics or reconstruction of the active chromatin landscape. In this diagram, we can see the concept of uh, training immunity, where we have uh, the, the origin of uh, uh, immune cells from uh, as a whole from hematopoietic stem cells that will give rise to common lymphoid precursor uh, uh, which will give uh, a nature killer cells as a part of the innate immune system of course it will give other uh, lymphoid cells that belong to the adaptive immune system and uh, this hematopoietic stem cell will also give rise to common myeloid progenitin that will give rise to the other innate immune uh, cells uh, like monocyte and macrophages and uh, this innate immune memory will uh, come through uh, the mechanism of epigenetic reprogramming uh, through either histone methylation acetylation uh, or, or any way of uh, epigenetic reprogramming that will lead to metabolic rewriting uh, and uh, changes in gene expression uh, and uh, uh, may use also the non-coding RNA. So we can uh, uh, define or describe the innate immune memory as a persistent alterations of innate immune responses. And this uh, persistent alteration of responses could be uh, in either ways, either uh, uh, enhancing response or uh, tolerance response. So again, uh, innate immune memory uh, well presents typically either uh, tolerance, uh, which means a reduced response, or trained immunity referring to an enhanced response upon re-stimulation. So we can assume that uh, training and tolerance are not unrelated uh, process, uh, rather than they are uh, dependent on the uh, type of rewriting of gene activation, or on the other hand, repression, programs via a specific stimuli uh, and that will induce signaling pathways to a specific reaction pattern of the innate immune cells. So from the trained immunity side of uh, innate immunity memory, we said we have two sides. One side is tolerance and one side is a trained immunity or enhanced immunity. Uh, uh, trained immunity describes a functional uh, metabolic and epigenetic ad adaptation of the innate immune cells to uh, previous stimuli uh, so that uh, they will give uh, increased immune responses when they get uh, re-exposure uh, or secondary stimulation 
through uh, increasing cytokine release or increasing any response they did in the first time. In this diagram, uh, we can see what's happening in uh, trained immunity. Uh, uh, this line will show the immune reaction by time. Uh, so the immune reaction for the first time was uh, this height, while in the second time it becomes a bigger height in, uh, as regard to, uh, to, to the response, either cytokines or any other response. And uh, we notice that the first stimulus was uh, beta-glucan, the other one is lipopolysaccharide. So because the innate immunity uh, memory is not that specific like uh, uh, adaptive immunity as we used to know. And uh, this ch uh, change or exaggerated response on the second time is based on uh, epigenetic changes. So uh, there is a change here inside the uh, 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 DNA uh, uh, material or expression where we, we have uh, increased glycolysis uh, uh, through increased uh, mechanistic target of rabamycin or uh, a mammalian target of rabamycin uh, and this uh, will increase on re-exposure. Uh, this mTOR will increase and will lead to increasing glycolysis and increasing the immune response on uh, re-stimulation. While uh, this innate uh, uh, memory uh, was originally described to occur in response to pathogens, uh, uh, recent data indicate that also Host-derived damage associated molecular pattern, which is named alarmins, can also induce an innate immune memory. So innate immune memory can happen for, uh, as a result of uh, uh, pathogen associated molecular pattern, uh, uh, as well as uh, damage associated molecular patterns. Alarmins, as I said, uh, uh, represents a danger associated molecular pattern, danger or damage associated molecular patterns. And these are endogenous molecules that are recognized by the immune system of a host as a, a, a danger or damage associated. And uh, that's why it will lead to sterile inflammation. Uh, examples of these alarmines are uh, heat shock proteins, uh, extra and extracellular DNA or RNA. The main uh, concept uh, since 1950s that the immune system uh, works to, uh, to distinguish between self and non-self, and so it reacts to the non-self. However, uh, this concept was changed uh, uh, since 1994 by Bolly uh, Metzinger. She proposed that the immune system uh, does not exclusively uh, work to differentiate between self and non-self. Instead, it uh, works to, to, to detect uh, signals that indicating danger. So uh, uh, its theory uh, was focusing on uh, uh, the idea that uh, professional antigen presenting cells are activated in the presence of tissue destruction, in the presence of danger and not uh, exclusively on self and non-self. So the immune cells are primarily made uh, to sense or detect danger. And uh, that's why they sense uh, invading microorganisms or pathogens uh, because uh, that they are typically are associated with cellular stress or damage, which means danger. Uh, however, uh, in the classic uh, immune uh, uh, recognition uh, concept that uh, danger associated molecular patterns would be uh, a self and will, will not uh, stimulate the immune system. So uh, now uh, it, uh, bec it became more clear that certain host drived molecules can activate innate immunity and induce inflammatory response regardless whether they are uh, uh, triggered by infection or uh, sterile inflammation. And uh, uh, these uh, uh, molecules, as I said before, that uh, cause damage or danger associated molecular patterns or DAMPs and uh, are called alarmines. So in this table, we can see uh, examples of definitions of 
PEMPs uh, and uh, DEMPs. We have PEMPs or, uh, or pathogen-associated molecular pattern uh, uh, like uh, lipopolysaccharides, beta glucan uh, uh, These are uh, molecules that come from pathogens, while uh, uh, damage-associated molecular patterns or DEMPs uh, or danger-associated molecular pattern, they come from endogenous molecules that stimulate sterile inflammation or uh, make injury to the tissues. Uh, uh, like ATB, heme, uh, vimentin, uh, defensins, xenophil-derived neurotoxins, and others. In this table, we can see some uh, sub-entities from uh, the original PEMP or DEMP. Uh, so we have what's called NEMP, which is nematode-associated molecular pattern, uh, uh, only dis uh, specifically described for plants-derived nematode. Uh, uh, unidentified molecules released from plant pathogen nematodes, and we have LAMP, LAMP which is lifestyle associated molecular pattern. Uh, these are LAMPs are non PEMP, non DEMP molecules that induce inflammation response uh, that, that cannot be cleared and persist and lead to chronic inflammation. For example, cholesterol, uh, monosodium urate, and oxidized uh, uh, low density lipoprotein. And we have what is called inducible damp or uh, inflammation inducing uh, uh, molecular activity produced or modified during cell death. Example, uh, interleukin 18 heat shock proteins. And we have what's called uh, constitutive damp, which is uh, inflammation inducing molecules that are already, already present in intracellular to become outside the cell, like ATP, heme, mitochondrial DNA and make uh, a problem. Uh, here is the DEMPS uh, molecules uh, for which the innate immune training has been shown. First, we have the heme molecule, uh, then vimentin, and oxidized uh, low-density lipoprotein. Monocyte and macrophages express different sets of pattern recognition receptors that bind to uh, pathogen-associated molecular patterns or uh, damage associated uh, molecular patterns. Uh, uh, actually, pattern recognition receptors can be divided into uh, five types based on uh, their protein domain. So, the first type is toll like receptors, the second type is nucleotide oligomerization domain node like receptors, or NLRS, the third one is retinoic acid inducible gene 1 like receptors. Uh, R, uh, RLRS, the uh, fourth type is C-type lectin receptors or CLRS, and the last type or fifth type is absent in melanoma 2-like receptors, ALRS. Uh, binding of pathogen-associated molecular patterns or uh, damage-associated molecular patterns by pattern recognition receptors will uh, trigger uh, distinct uh, signaling transduction pathways uh, which will result in the expression of immunomodulatory molecules uh, like cytokines uh, that are uh, appropriate for the immune reaction against an exogenous or endogenous uh, threat. Uh, both heme and vimentin are uh, considered alarmines that uh, can activate the pattern recognition uh, receptors uh, either by uh, toll-like receptor for, for uh, heme uh, or dectin-1 for vimentin. Dectin-1 uh, is a subgroup from the C-type lectin receptors, the CLRS, uh, uh, as, uh, as regards the oxidized uh, low-density lipoproteins. Uh, these are a heterogeneous group of molecules, and uh, uh, depending on their oxidation status, they will bind to a different uh, pattern recognition receptor. EM is a tetrabirol uh, uh, with a central iron atom, found in hemoglobin and other hematoprotein, and this reactive uh, central uh, iron uh, can uh, reversibly change its oxidation state from uh, ferric uh, Fe3 uh, positive 3 to ferrous uh, Fe uh, positive 2 to accept or donate electrons, uh, and this reactive core make him uh, uh, an essential molecule for many physiological processes. Uh, but also it makes heme uh, that uh, carry the risk uh, for cytotoxicity 
when uh, this uh, iron is found unbound to proteins. So as a result, the heme is able to oxidize lipids and proteins and induce DNA damage. Uh, also, heme uh, can prom promote the generation of free radicals uh, when reacting with the other organic uh, uh, hydroperoxidase, uh, making more cellular damage. Under normal physiological conditions, the heme production and degradation are tightly controlled uh, processes. Uh, uh, however, under pathology like uh, following hemolysis or tissue damage, heme is passively released into the circulation where it is bound to uh, serum scavenger proteins and taken up by macrophages. And uh, actually, till now, there is no known active heme export. Uh, however, with increasing concentrations of this heme in the plasma, the buffering capacity of uh, serum proteins uh, becomes exhausted, resulting in accumulation of uh, cell-free labile heme uh, in the plasma. And this will contribute uh, critically to the pathogenesis of severe acute uh, infectious disease as demonstrated uh, in malaria and bacterial sepsis. Oxidized low-density lipoprotein includes a number of different particles such as protein fatty acids with varying oxidation states. Uh, oxidized low-density lipoprotein trained immunity is associated with mTOR or mechanistic target of rabamycin signaling and uh, increased glycolysis to, uh, to be done. Uh, and also the same uh, sensing by toll-like receptors and uh, signaling via uh, mTOR pathways are involved in uh, trained immunity in vascular smooth muscle cells. Uh, and uh, this uh, uh, may be explained, uh, can explain the why training effects of oxidized loading cellular protein have been shown for non-myeloid tissues that also express the same uh, receptors. Uh, another issue is that uh, oxidized uh, low-density lipoprotein uh, also may be considered in, uh, 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 in the light of recently suggested concept of LAMPS, uh, which refers to molecules not associated with pathogens or cellular damage, uh, but instead arise from uh, failure to adapt to disease. Uh, uh, failure to adapt to disease uh, is, is uh, 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 an example of it is uh, uh, it what happens with atherosclerosis or gout, uh, where oxidized low density lipoprotein cannot be cleared from uh, by the immune system, and consequently it will stay and induce chronic inflammation. Uh, vimentin is an intermediate filament protein uh, involved in inflammatory responses and in uh, macrophage endocytosis. Uh, vimentin actually is a classical alarmine sensed by dictin-1. Uh, to conclude, uh, damage-associated molecular patterns and pathogen-associated molecular pattern induce trained immunity uh, pa, uh, post, pa, uh, with comparable molecular reaction patterns. Uh, uh, and the recognition of, uh, of POS uh, uh, induce histone modification and long-term uh, persistent alteration of myelobiosis, which is bone marrow reduction of leukocytes, that will impact immune response upon secondary stimulation. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the video, uh, and uh, I'm reminding you again to subscribe to the channel and activating the alarming bell if you are interested in uh, getting uh, any new video, any updates, and thank you.